Hey, what's going on out there? I'm Sean Devine. Hope you all are doing well. In this tutorial, we are going to be breaking down the Holy Grail rap vocal chain. And now what I'm talking about, what I'm referring to here is a uh, hardware analog chain that has been being used in the major studios for the past couple decades. It's really the de facto rap vocal chain. Artists like Dr. Dre, Drake has used this chain, Big Sean, Future, a lot of your favorite artists are utilizing this to get their rap tone to sound the way it does. Now, I do wanna preface that they are using some very expensive microphones like the ELAM 251, the Neumann U87. I don't expect you all out there to be utilizing those. Uh, I actually used a Rode NT1 for these vocals, but I'm gonna show you some things to consider in terms of optimizing the frequency response of whatever mic you're using, and then utilizing these stock plugins to replicate this analog hardware chain. It's gonna get you really close and you're gonna save a lot of money uh, trying to achieve this sound here with this method. So let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so we got our session open here and this is just a quick little verse that I laid down. I've got some different layers. You all who follow the channel, you have seen that I do backing layers and I'll just stack those very softly underneath just to give us a little bit more of a, a thickness and a presence to the vocal that's gonna cut through the mix. And sometimes I'll wide pan things, uh, but let's just take a listen to it dry and then we'll start building out our holy grail rap vocal chain. Just like grindhouse flow, came to wake you all up. I got the talent, man, you know, to make my own sound. Charlotte Uptown, not the 336. Me and Z flew out to MB. Big Hollywood dreams on the 405. Now we stay steady in our lane. God on our side, life's been a wreck. Living in my mind, so stressed. Now we're blessed. Know the suffering will bring us to our best. So, what you know about it? I've been at the music half my life. Ready to give anything to take a lyric flight. Fell out the sky, dark night of the soul. Caught me out reckless. Now I stay at home, get my prayer game. Came up for my brothers and sisters my mother had vision since very beginning all the way up all right so we got a nice clean signal there and again i used the road nt1 going into the apex channel with maybe three or four db of compression if you're curious about that i'll put a link below but you don't need to worry about tracking with compression right now it's not going to affect the processing that we're doing here with this chain so first thing we're going to do is just select all of our uh, verse vocals and I'm just routing them to the same bus down here, which is bus one. We're gonna be processing them all on this aux. So before we start talking about what exactly makes up the Holy Grail rap vocal chain, I wanna show you some things to consider in terms of your microphone and the frequency response of your mic when compared to some of these very expensive mics that a lot of these rappers are using. You don't need to worry about that and you don't necessarily need one of these mics to still get a great result. But you do need to know a couple of things and the, the main one is just understanding the frequency response of your mic. For example, this particular mic, the Rode Broadcaster, sometimes I just leave this set up and I will record my own vocals with this mic, but it took me a while to understand the frequency response of this mic is designed specifically for this type of thing, which is narration and broadcast. So they have uh, boosted certain frequencies that when I start layering vocals, and especially for hip hop and rap stuff, it can get harsh pretty quickly. And the reason is because you see in the frequency response here, there's a pretty significant bump at 2K and 3K, which I already have quite a bit of information in the upper you know, 1K, 2K range in my voice. So I was just finding that the vocals were a little bit harsh as I stacked and as I recorded very simple fix we can just go in here and just kind of pre-optimize the vocal with an eq so if you go and you look at that frequency response of the various mics and even if you want to compare them to something like the elam 251 or the u87 you can do that here this is a site called recordinghacks.com i'll put a link to it but if you click on the cardioid for for instance the 251 and let's just say we wanted to compare that to the NT1, which is what I used, it will show you those curves and then you can then just kind of optimize it and sort of match with an EQ to kind of get it closer. You can see the NT1 is actually pretty close. It's a quite nice curve for the price that the NT1 is. If you look up your mic's uh, frequency response 
and it does have some of these unpleasant bumps as far as something that's just not really working for your voice, it's a good thing just to be aware of that and we can pre-process it with EQ as needed. All right, so what are the hardware pieces of this Holy Grail wrap vocal chain? Number one, we need a 1073 preamp or EQ combo, something in that style. Lucky for us in Logic, there is a stock EQ plugin that replicates that exact piece of hardware. It is in the Vintage EQ collection and it's called the Vintage Console EQ. So if we open this up, this actually even looks like a 1073. For those of you who might be familiar, uh, it has an output drive section, which is going to replicate some of the things that the, uh, the Neve Pre will do, some of the saturation and a little bit of the grit and character that you're hearing in a lot of those voices. We're gonna adjust that in a minute. But first, let's just do the EQ. Let's adjust the high pass frequency first. I'm probably gonna go towards 80, but you can do this to taste and you'll notice if we do too much, the vocal will get thin, but let's just see. It's that grindhouse flow, came to wake you all up. I got the talent, man, you know to make my own sound. Charlotte Uptown, not the 336. Me and Z flew out to MB. Big Hollywood dreams on the 405. Now we stay steady in our lane, God on our side. Life's been a wreck, living in my mind so stressed. Now we're blessed, know the suffering will bring us to our best. So what you know about it? I've been at the music half my life, ready to so just getting rid of some of that low rumble here. Moving over to the low gain, we can take some of that low murk and just that mud out of our vocal that's gonna have it sitting nice and clean. It's that grindhouse flow, came to wake you all up. I got the talent, man, you know to make my own sound. Charlotte Uptown, not the 336. Me and Z flew out to MB. Big Hollywood dreams on the 405. Now we stay steady in our lane, God on our side. Life's been a wreck, living in my mind so stressed. Now we're blessed, know the suffering will bring us to our best. So what you know about it? I've been at the music half my life. Ready to give anything to take a lyric flight. Fell out the sky, dark night of the soul. So already just a nice, clean, less muddy sound. Going over to mid gain, this is probably one of my favorite things about the uh, the 1073 style EQ is these notches are very much optimized in my opinion for vocals. They work really well for cutting out harsh frequencies, particularly the 1.6 and the 3.2 notch. My voice tends to have quite a bit of buildup there and when I layer, it can start to get harsh in a hurry. I'm sure that's probably the case for a lot of you out there with your rap vocals. So we're gonna take out probably uh, about two or three dB up here at one of these notches. Let's just adjust. It's that grindhouse flow, came to wake you all up. I got the talent, man, you know to make my own sound. Charlotte Uptown, not the 336. Me and Z flew out to MB. Big Hollywood dreams on the 405. Now we stay steady in our lane, God on our side. Life's been a wreck, living in my mind so stressed. Now we're blessed, know the suffering will bring us to our best. So what you know about it? I've been at the music half my life. Ready to give anything to take a lyric flight. Fell out the sky, dark night of the soul. Caught me out reckless, now I stay at home, get my prayer game up for my brothers and sisters, my mother had- So it just takes out some of that nasally, kind of harsh sound there. And then we're going up to the high gain, very important. We're gonna boost this up just to give us that nice top end sparkle. The 1073 has a great high shelf for vocals here. Fell out the sky, dark night of the soul. Caught me out reckless, now I stay at home, get my prayer game up for my brothers and sisters. My mother had visions since very beginning all the way up. This ain't no ordinary layup. My rant reverse and one of a KAT. Forgot about me over time, find the truth in between papers, lines, why I claim the name divine. So sounds nice. The S's do get a little bit sharper. We're going to deal with that. We're going to add a de -er to this chain because that is another piece that's not talked about. These rappers are definitely utilizing de -er or rather their engineers are using de -er and that's how they're getting this brightness, but without the harshness. We'll go ahead and add the de -er to the chain while we're processing just so it's not getting in our way and taking our uh, ears off here. So I'll open up de -er 2 and let's just dial in something very quickly for that. I'm gonna leave this at relative, switch the range to wide, and let's adjust this a little bit. Fell out the sky, dark night of the soul. Caught me out reckless, now I stay at home, get my prayer game up for my brothers and sisters. My mother had visions since very beginning all the way up. This ain't no ordinary layup. My rant reverse and one of a KAT. Forgot about me over time, find the truth in between papers, lines, why I claim the name divine, cause the glory. All right, so that'll control that a little bit. You know, a lot of you who are not using a lot of analog gear, you're getting a very clean, pristine digital sound. 
and we need to grid it up a little bit. So that 1073 is going to work well. We're going to go ahead and select the uh, the console EQ drive model or the output model. And we're just going to add a little bit. You'll notice if I bump this up too much, we start to get some unpleasant distortion. So we want to be careful about that. Been a wreck, living in my mind, so stressed. Now we're blessed, know the suffering will bring us to our best. So what you know about it? I've been at the music half my life, ready to give anything to take a lyric flight. Fell out the sky, dark night of the soul. Caught me out reckless, now I stay at home. Get my prayer game up for my brothers and sisters. My mother had visions since very beginning. All the way up, this ain't no ordinary layup. My rant reverse and one of a KAT. Forgot about me over time. Find the truth in between papers, lines. Why I claim the name. Pretty drastic difference, right? And this is just a stock plug-in here in Logic. Uh, so we got the uh, the 1073 style pre EQ dialed in. Now we need to move on to the all important opto compressor. The hardware compressors that are being used in this style are ones like the LA-2A, you've heard about that, but uh, also the TubeTech CL-1B, that's one that's used by Big Sean and others. But we're gonna use just the stock compressor in Logic, and there is, a matter of fact, a vintage opto-modeled compressor. So that is going to react in a similar way to those hardware pieces. I'm gonna set the ratio to about four to one. It's that grindhouse flow, came to wake you all up. I got the talent, man, you know to make my own sound. Charlotte Uptown, not the 336. Me and Z flew out to MD. Big Hollywood dreams on the 405. Now we stay steady in our lane, God on our side. Life's been a wreck, living in my mind so stressed. Now we're blessed, know the suffering will bring us to our best. So what you know about it? I've been at the music half my life. Ready to give anything to take a lyric flight. All right, so we got our attack, and you saw that I slowed down the release time a little bit. You will notice that I have auto enabled. That does not mean that release does nothing. It does, it's just auto responding according to where I set this. So I wanna slow that release time down so we get a little bit more glue. And then I'm gonna turn on the limiter. This is really useful just to set it at zero, just so that we don't get out of control with the signal coming out of the compressor. Prayer game up for my brothers and sisters. My mother had visions since very beginning. All the way up, this ain't no ordinary layup. My rant reverse and one of a KAT. Forgot about me over time. Find the truth in between papers, lines. Why I claim the name divine, cause the glory goes up. So we just get that nice, warm, creamy sort of sound and it tucks it into the mix, glues it a little bit. All right, so let's go ahead and play it back dry and then with the plugin so we can hear what we did. It's that grindhouse flow, came to wake you all up I got the talent, man, you know to make my own sound Charlotte Uptown, not the 336 Me and Z flew out to MB Big Hollywood dreams on the 405 Now we stay steady in our lane God on our side, life's been a wreck Living in my mind so stressed Now we're blessed, know the suffering will bring us to our best So what you know about it? I've been at the music half my life Ready to give anything to take a lyric flight Fell out the sky, dark night of the soul Caught me out reckless, now I stay at home Get my prayer game Came up for my brothers and sisters. My mother had visions since very beginning. All the way up, this ain't no ordinary layup. My rant reverse and one of a KAT. Forgot about me over time. Find the truth in between papers, lines. Why I claim the name divine? Cause the glory goes up high when we shine. Give a vision to the blind. Every time he at my back, when he found me in a bind, no question. So now you know I'm not flexing. All right, so there you have it. With essentially three stock plugins, we rebuilt the Holy Grail rap vocal chain in the analog hardware realm, 1073 Pre and EQ, fed into an opto style compressor, which Logic Pro has some great models. These plugins have just gotten a lot better over time. Hope this was helpful, and I will be including this vocal chain in Vocal Chains LE, those of you out there who have that, but if you don't, I'm sure this will be easy to rebuild and it's pretty simple also very easy on your cpu so i think you're going to have a lot of fun with it if you have any questions about what we did here in terms of building this chain or maybe you have a specific question with your rap vocals in terms of getting them to sit right in the mix or you're struggling to get the tone you want leave us a comment below happy to help if you learn anything in the video please like subscribe and consider sharing hit that notification bell for more we'll talk to you soon